Hi everybody, how's it going? So I know I talk on this channel a lot about becoming a developer. Maybe if it's building JavaScript projects for your portfolio or how to conduct yourselves in interviews or how you go about finding jobs. But something I feel I've been lacking to talk about or even show you is what the life of a developer actually is. So in that regard, I went ahead and asked my managers at work. Um, I even had to ask HR and marketing if I could do this, but I wanted to film a day in the life video of a developer. Now, obviously they all agreed. They said, yeah, enjoy, have fun, don't worry about it. Um, but before I get into the actual day in the life bit, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about where it is I actually work. The company I work for is called Ubic, and I'll read you a little bit from our marketing material to tell you about what we actually do. Ubic is an in-store conversion optimization platform that helps retailers and brands to optimize their stores, operations, and teams to deliver an irresistible shopping experience that ultimately drives conversion up. Based in New York, London, Paris, Tel Aviv, and Sao Paulo, with more than 150 employees, Ubic is used by 120 plus brands and retailers across the world, including Halfords, Lacoste, Kate Spade, Yankee Candle, Kiko Milano, Pixie Beauty, Logitech, and Peugeot. So put simply, we make apps for people in the retail sector. As for the technology that we use to make the apps, we are an Angular web app essentially that we use Stencil.js components inside of it. And then we bundle that all together in Cordova and then ship that out to the iOS um, app store and the Android Play Store. So in the front end dev team, which is based here in London, we're about 14 people and we're split up into three teams. My team's current focus is refactoring the code base. Because the company has been around for a while now, a lot of the code base has become a little bit more complicated and you know people that originally built components aren't necessarily with the company anymore. So what we're doing on our squad is we're basically going back through, we're refactoring components, we're using a tool called Storybook.js to make all our components uh, visible to anybody in the company. We're refactoring the entire code base just to make it a little bit more streamlined and a little bit easier to work with. So we're unspaghettiing the spaghetti code basically. And being that the way that we work with our apps and our components, they're all very interchangeable. So currently the company offers two products or two solutions. Um, but the theory being that we build out a library of components means we can put together a new app within a couple of weeks to put out a new solution and a new uh, or a new product for our uh, for our sales team and marketing team to go ahead with. So using web components and especially Stencil.js is really cool in that respect because you can just very quickly build a little component and you can just place it into a web app very, very quickly and easily. So now that you know where it is I work and what we actually do, let me show you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And just a little caveat, I did film all this footage over the course of a few days, so you're gonna spot some changes in clothes and maybe colors of mugs. <laughs> So usually if the weather's nice like it is today, um, I'll go and buy some lunch or bring some lunch from home and go and sit here down next to the river. Um, just get out of the office for a bit and enjoy the sunshine.
there we go. That was an illustrative day in the life of a developer, I guess. Basically, a lot of my time is spent coding. That being sat in front of my computer or taking my laptop and sitting in sort of a breakout area and just writing code. Now we do work mainly alone, but we also pair program, or if you have a question about something, you can very easily just get your computer or go and sit with somebody else, talk it over. It's a very informal atmosphere. But basically that is my day-to-day -day as a developer. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see other stuff about my company, um, I've linked to them down below. They're not paying, this is not a sponsored uh, video in any way. I just thought it'd be cool to show you where I work as a developer. Kind of feel there's not many devs on YouTube actually showing you where they work. Um, and if you like that video at all, my head should be up here so you can go ahead and subscribe. And there also might be a video up here showing something that YouTube thinks you'll want to watch that I've made. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, see you again soon.